Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It's Tuesday, August 29th, 2023. Here's what's happening today in America. Florida braces for a hurricane. Judge sets a trial date. Stop blocking highways and spreading the wealth around. All coming up, then Bill will be here with your message of the day. But first in Florida, Hurricane Adalia, looking to be a Category 3 hurricane, could be the largest in the Florida Gulf Coast since 1950. It's expected to make landfall Wednesday morning. The Tampa Bay Airport has closed. Evacuation orders across Florida have been announced. Friendly reminder that regular insurance policies, unless you have extra flood insurance, doesn't cover flooding from water from the outside. So regular insurance will cover if your dishwasher breaks and floods your house. But if there's a hurricane and water comes in from the outside, your regular insurance doesn't cover that unless you have flood insurance. And only 16% of people in Florida have flood insurance. So when you see on the news, someone's house full of water, it's very likely that insurance will not cover the losses of for that family. And they'll have to pay that out of pocket, which of course can be devastating. A federal judge has set the trial date for the January 6th group of indictments against President Trump. March 4th, 2024, which is shockingly by total coincidence, the day before the Super Tuesday primary in 14 states. The judge said Trump will have to prioritize this trial and that she would not change the trial schedule based upon any other defendant's professional obligations of there's like a professional athlete or something. It doesn't matter to them. The public has an interest in the fair and timely administration of justice. The judge said a video is making the rounds of protesters blocking a highway in Nevada. You've seen videos like this before. Traffic backs up forever. People get ticked off. In this case, however, a Nevada tribal rangers pickup truck came around the traffic and rammed through the protesters display, did a U-turn and an officer got out of the car with what looks like his gun drawn and started arresting them. And the protesters were on the ground screaming, we're environmental protesters, we're environmental protesters, as if that gives them the right to sit in the street and block traffic. They were protesting the Burning Man Music Festival, and they were arrested for trespassing on tribal land. Good. And finally, Joe the Plumber has passed away at the age of 49 from pancreatic cancer. You remember Joe when he approached then-candidate Barack Obama, said he's about to buy a plumbing business I could make over $250,000 a year. Will I be taxed more? Barack Obama said yes and finished his two-minute answer with, I think when you spread the wealth around, it's good for everybody. He leaves behind four children. One of them said his big thing is that everybody come to God. That's what he taught me. And that's a message I hope is heard by a lot of people. Bill O'Reilly with your message of the day. Next. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped 20%. And this year could be worse. You are right to be worried. So please call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They'll show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. And they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text G-O-L-D GOLD to 65532. Again, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Tuesday, Donald Trump is dominating the Republican primary polling, as you know, and that situation may not change. His challengers continue to strive to get a foothold, never mind momentum. In the face of this, the Democrats and their corporate media allies are forging an updated narrative. Trump will get hammered in the national election, as most Americans don't want him to run. Over the next few weeks, you will consistently hear that from the press. It may be true that most Americans don't embrace a former president, but faced with a worse alternative, that might not matter. President Biden is obviously weak and may face serious accusations of bribery. That's not a long shot any longer, and astute observers know it. 
Impeachment looms even as Biden struggles to do his job. His trip to Maui was another disaster. Kamala Harris is a disaster as well across the board. And polling averages show Trump beating her handily. Governor Gavin Newsom has destroyed California. So there's that if he decides to get into the race. Donald Trump well understands his competition is in disarray, and that keeps him in the game despite his precarious legal situation. Anything can happen in 2024. So please stay close to us because we will not lie to you. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Now let's go to the mail. So Mark says, if you want to restore any law and order, you need to realize that the Trump tragedy is an all political prosecution. It was political during the first year he was president and before that. But after he broke the rules, he did break some of the rules. You're absolutely right. Kevin Wheeler, British Columbia, Canada. Bill, how can you call these indictments of Donald Trump politically driven by Democrats when a grand jury votes on the charges before an indictment is handed down? Grand jury are regular folks. No defense is put into play in a grand jury hearing. Just the prosecutor can say whatever he wants. Um, So in D.C., for example, or Atlanta, where it's 90 percent left, Grand jury is going to indict. Uh, James Weatherford, Brownsburg, Indiana. Is it possible for the Republican Party or someone with authority to file charges against the DA in Atlanta? No. But the Georgia Republicans are trying to get her dismissed because she broke some kind of rule, they say. But you can't sue them. They have indemnification. All elected officials do. Mark Doyle, State College, Pennsylvania. Where would a county DA get the resources to do an investigation of the Georgia magnitude? They have money to do investigation. But the fact that no other county signed on, it pretty much tells you what this is. Carol Creech, Aubrey, Texas. My husband and I enjoy watching the No Spin News. Based on the Republican debate Wednesday, August 23rd, do you feel Nikki Haley would be a good VP choice for Trump? Trump doesn't like Nikki Haley, so that's never going to happen. Dennis Bardeen, Canistio, New York. Can we still believe our justice system is legitimate? No. Justice system is corrupt in this country, both criminal and civil. Corrupt. In a moment, something you might not know. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low cost month to month vehicle protection plan. That's now available to the public. Save on out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. 800-925-7584 for a free quote. This protection plan is at an all-time low in price. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote, 800-925-7584, 800-925-7584. Hey, what do you have to lose? 800-925-7584. Now the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. On this day in 1786, a grassroots insurrection against the United States government broke out in western Massachusetts. Here is the story of Shays Rebellion. Shortly after the American Revolution, farmers who fought against Great Britain received little compensation. By the 1780s, many were destitute. At the same time, Massachusetts residents were ordered to pay higher taxes to the state than they had under the British crown. Authorities in Boston began arresting farmers who refused to pay. In response, the locals attacked government property, mostly courthouses. Daniel Shays was a farmer and a veteran of the Battle of Bunker Hill. 
Within a year, he led a group of 1,500 rebels. By January 1787, the Massachusetts governor decided to quell the insurrection using force. He raised a private army of 2,000 men. The group marched west under the command of former Continental General Benjamin Lincoln. On February 4th, Lincoln soldiers ambushed Shays' group at their camp near Springfield, Massachusetts. The rebellion was defeated. In total, six insurrectionists were killed, dozens wounded, 200 arrested. Shays and his top commanders fled to Vermont. Founding father Samuel Adams demanded all the traitors be executed. The Massachusetts legislature pardoned thousands of rebels, providing they paid a small fine and took an oath of loyalty to the state. Shays was pardoned the following year. Then he returned to Massachusetts, moved to upstate New York later. He died in 1825 at the age of 78. And here is something else you might not know. Shays' rebellion sparked the creation of a stronger federal government. The uprising led to the Constitutional Convention in Philadelphia later that summer. The conflict haunted George Washington and prompted the general to end his retirement in Virginia and serve as the nation's first president. Back after this. Enjoy cleaner safer, and more private internet daily. Be more cyber zen. For a limited time only, get our special offer at nordvpn.com. With a few simple clicks, NordVPN will block online trackers and hide your virtual location. It will secure your devices from malware-infected downloads and block access to malicious websites. Enjoy internet without trackers. Internet without malicious websites. Internet without malware-ridden files. Imagine your data more secure, your connection protected. Be more cyber zen. Take advantage of our special offer now at nordvpn.com. NordVPN, cybersecurity built for every day. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.